okay so in the last class we were discussing about this so I'm audible. yes I'm audible. so order statistics we were discussing and the thing is that the idea of this is we have to find out the ith smallest element so ith smallest element we are trying to find out and we we raised a question that okay whether order of n time algorithm existing or not right and the answer is yes two ways we can do that one is this randomized divide and conquer algorithm okay and that will be running in expected expect expected running time expected running time is order of n and there is a again one deterministic uh, algorithm existing and that will be seeing after a short while and that will also be running in this without expectation this uh, this is a deterministic one and this is uh, this will be running in tn equal to order of n time so first uh, let me give an idea of this randomized divide and conquer algorithm randomized algorithm is almost everywhere in computer science right now okay randomized algorithm and this is uh, so important paradigm of uh, computer science research okay randomized algorithm and uh, this is uh, we have to find out the ith smallest element right we have to find out the ith smallest element okay so this is a example you take okay again uh, uh, as we are starting with this uh, lecture we can say that as we are using this uh, eric demand and professor lizerson lecture okay so as i told uh, as i told you earlier as as well that this is from their course okay so this is from mit open courseware and this is 2005 course but uh, this is one of the best course uh, best uh, best programs i have seen okay so this is uh, regarding algorithms and especially uh, the lecture slides they have made it's excellent okay and we are trying to take the help of that at some uh, for few of the lectures okay like this one as well okay so we have to select uh, the i equal to seventh smallest element here okay seventh smallest so what we we are doing here is this pivot uh, we are choosing one pivot and in our randomized algorithm the, the previous uh, previous uh, slide in the randomized one what we'll be doing is we'll be choosing we'll be choosing the pivot element random okay? we'll be choosing the pivot element randomly so it may be the first element like this like this or any other elements okay so in randomized algorithm we choose the pivot random okay now after choosing the pivot say randomly i have chosen this pivot and then around this we have to partition the list into two parts okay so first of all this uh, 10 i have to check 10 i have to check whether it is uh, less or greater equal less equal to or greater than the six and then accordingly i have to uh, send it this side or this side so as 10 is this side we, we we have got 10 here so like this way this every other elements will be compared with the pivot and then we have to divide the list into two parts right and now once i have got this partition okay so this is our p and this is our r and this is our q okay so how many elements will be there in this list first of all we have to check 
that whether uh, this this is uh, this, this how many elements we have to we are having here in this left hand side list including this r so this uh, the, that might be r minus p so this this is p equal to 1 here maybe this is r equal to 4 here right so how many elements will be there 4 minus 1 plus 1 right so this this will be 4 again so r minus p plus 1 these many elements will be there in this list including this one pivot one right so now this uh, i ha i have got this k equal to say k equal to this r minus p plus 1 then this is uh, the kth position we are having this is this 6 is in the kth position of this array and that will be the kth smallest element okay, you see this 6 is the fourth smallest element right and i have to check that i have to find out the seventh smallest element seventh smallest element now this fourth smallest element and all these these are not sorted okay this is unsorted array so during the partition it will not be sorted it will only be giving the indication that uh, these elements these elements are less than or equal to these elements okay as we are assuming that all elements are distinct so these elements will be strictly less than this and these elements will be greater than this so that is the indication it is not telling that these elements are sorted then the problem will be very trivial okay so kth smallest is so k kth one we have got and i have to check i have to check that i equal to i equal to seventh smallest element so i have to check whether k equal to i or not k equal to i so here i am seeing that okay k not equals to i that means k equal to 4 but i equal to 7 then what we got to do there is no point recursing in this list because these elements will be these elements will be less than this so any of these elements will be indexed by one two three here okay first first smallest may be there second smallest may be there third smallest may be there like this there may not be the case that in this side there will be fifth smallest element okay so fifth smallest element right so this is this is how we are uh, we have to put forward our logic and then we are searching the we will be searching the elements then definitely in this list but in this list which smallest element we have to search which smallest element which smallest element we have to search so can you tell and can anybody tell me that if i have to search right now i have to search in this in this list then one of you say that which smallest element we will be searching here will it be seventh smallest element or some uh, other than seventh smallest some other elements we have to search can anybody say hello hello Can anybody say which smallest element? Who will be telling? Huh? Priti, you tell me. You tell me. Which smallest element I'll be searching in this list then? I have I haven't got I k equals to k not equals to I that means it is not the fourth smallest element I am looking for I am looking for the seventh smallest element then there is no point 
uh, there is no point recursing in this list in this list okay because uh, we will not be getting the fifth smallest element onwards in this list because all elements will be short will be less than this six okay so here in this list hmm. so i minus k k smallest element so this is seven so this is our i and this is our four that is k so this is the third smallest element we have to search here okay third smallest element right now we have to search in this list but we have to search for third smallest element right so this is the way we have to proceed now completely i have to ignore this list this left hand side including this one okay and then i have to recurse this it may be if if i instead of i equal to seventh if i had to search if i had to search the second smallest element then i had to search in this list and in that case i equals to two will be retained okay because we are not excluding any other elements because we are recursing in the left hand side so that is that that's how we proceed okay and this is the randomized one so this uh, first if p equals to q that means one element we have to return we have to return okay just just a minute we have to return otherwise what we got to do we have to have this partition okay we have to have this uh, pivot elements to be selected and then k k equal to r minus p plus 1 that i have shown you that we have to find out k will be the rank of this ar that means which smallest element we are in right now with this pivot and then if i equals to k so i in our case it was 7 and k in our case it was 4 if i equals to k then return that that means that smallest element we are trying to find out other than this if i less than k then we have to search this smallest element i in the left hand side list left hand side list p2 r minus 1 else we have to return the well, we have to recursively solve the right hand side list okay r plus 1 to q and with this smallest element i minus k that means 7 minus 4 okay so this is the this is the idea of this randomized divide and conquer algorithm okay and now what could be the time complexity of this analysis there is a there is an expected running time analysis that we will not be discussing here I discuss this if time permits then I can uh, we I discuss this in advanced algorithm class or uh, this mtech advanced algorithm class okay so this is a very fantastic analysis is there remarkable expected running time is order of n but the intuition for analysis is this that if we are lucky if we are lucky then we might be having in one side so we are having this list and we have got a pivot and around that we have divided the list into two parts okay so this is our pivot and we have got this list and this list okay so there is a every possibility that uh, this 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 pivot will be dividing the list in uh, one is to nine ratio okay one is to nine ratio and we are every time we are recursing as we are doing the worst case analysis so that means if we are taking the hundred elements are there in the list hundred elements then this uh, one is to nine ratio will be uh, will be having that in this side 
in this side we will be having 10 elements and in this side we will be having 90 elements and every time in the bigger list I am recursing okay for finding the highest smallest element and there is every possibility that uh, will be returned uh, this 1 is to 9 ratio the partition so in that case and I have seen I have shown you that in one side only either this side or this side I have to recurse not the both side right so if I am assuming that as we are doing worst case analysis so we are assuming that every time we will be doing the recursion in the larger list okay. so that's why this t 9n by 10 is coming in that partition with that partition we have to recurse and as the partition we have you have seen that around this pivot first of all we have to partition the list so that will be taking theta n time right so in that case tn will be equal to this t 9n by 10 plus theta n okay so this is the this is an intuitive analysis if we are having this kind of partition okay but in the as we are we will be dealing with expected running time so we are not sure whether it will be coming 1 is to 9 in in some iteration it might be 1 is to 9 in some iteration it might be uh, uh, say 50 50 50 50 division will be there okay and in other cases some other uh, uh, some other partitions might be there okay so we have to do some kind of expect we have to take the expected uh, running time okay of all the iterations involved or all the possibilities involved okay. so that that will be consuming one and half class so i will be not discussing that thing here and that is but that is a very good interesting analysis but here the intuition is telling okay uh, maybe on an average if we are we are lucky then and this lucky case will be there because even if the 10 is to 10 and 90 in one part 10 and one part 90 it's absolutely possible okay an unlucky case might be in one side we are having one element and in another side we are having 99 elements so in that case we are having this kind of recursion tn minus 1 plus theta n and that will be theta n square so in that case our algorithm that we are randomly picking the pivot element and we are partitioning if we are getting this this partition then it might be the case that we are landing into theta n square time running time and that is uh, not good because that is worse than sorting if i am uh, sorting the elements and then i am picking the kth smallest that will be running in order of n log n okay okay so this is uh, they they have analyzed it here this expected running time but that, that i am not doing here okay. so that i am tracking now is it okay is it okay now now is it okay is it okay Hmm. okay so this uh, expected analysis is there which i am not discussing here if some of you are interested then you can talk to me offline not coming not coming what about others what about others Everybody hearing cracking noise? Nobody is listening?
sorry. Just a minute. Uh, is it okay now? Is it okay? Is it okay now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we are not discussing now, but we will be discussing another interesting one. Uh, that is okay. So this uh, summary of randomized order statistics selection is works fast linear expected time that as we i have told you linear expectation expected running time that is expected tn equal to order of n excellent algorithm yes yes not coming okay maybe Okay, so summary of this randomized order statistics, expected linear expected time, excellent algorithm in practice, but the worst case may be very bad theta n square time as we have discussed. Now the question is, is there an algorithm that runs in linear time in the worst case? Linear time in the worst case, okay, not the expected running time we are uh, not the randomized one we are looking for and the answer is yes that is due to this uh, the, this algorithm okay, that was proposed by them in 1973 okay. and this is uh, the idea is we have to generate the good pivot recursively okay we have to generate a pivot recursively So, we have got a list, we have got a list of numbers, okay, list of numbers and uh, the everything, the partitioning algorithm as we have seen that, okay, if I am having 1 is to 9 ratio, the partition, if we can ensure, then we are having, if we can analyze with that substitution method, with that recurrence tn equal to t 9n by 10 plus theta n then the running time will be tn equal to theta n okay so is there is there a way to produce always ensure that we will be having this 1 is to 9 that means the balanced partition always okay for this case, the balanced partition definitely this 1 is to 9 is will be doing the trick. If I am getting more, it is good. And we will be showing that we will be getting with the methodology that we will be discussing, we will be getting more than sufficient uh, or more than satisfactory answer. That means uh, the balanced partition definitely will be having almost uh, these 3 is to 7 ratio almost we will be getting 3 is to 7 ratio we will be getting the partition so that will be they see one side will be having 30 percent always and another side will be having 70 percent okay 
so it is better than this uh, 10 10 and 90 case okay so that's how this this algorithm will be working fine and the idea is we have to find out we have to find a mechanism so that a good pivot might be found and around that pivot we have to partition so how to find out that pivot element that is the challenge here how to find out that pivot element in the previous case we have randomly selected up selected the pivot but here we'll be deterministically we'll be selecting the pivot okay with uh, following uh, few sequential steps we'll be finding the pivot element right so the idea is we have to idea is we have to so these are the list of elements here okay so here we are having say this uh, this this might be 10 this element this element might be say 10 this element might be say 30 this element might be 55 this element might be 3 this this element might be 10 sorry 11 something like this and all these elements are coming here so you can think of they are coming here they are coming so these these elements will be coming coming here okay these elements and then the other elements the other elements other five elements these five elements will be coming here all these will be having some values maybe 20 maybe 30 1 maybe 45 maybe 9 maybe 15 so like this way all these elements all these elements were there here then these elements were there okay oh were there right so all these elements were there right so i'm right now i will not clatter the picture okay so what we got to do is we have to divide the list into groups of five so divide n elements into groups of five divide n elements into groups of five and find the median of each five element group right so this we have to have this divide n elements into groups of five okay so for so you see this this group not having not having this group not having this uh, uh, five elements so we can analyze keeping it or we may exclude that even if we are excluding this and even if we are getting a good good partition so that will be much better so this uh, this this groups of five elements we are having groups of five elements and then what we got to do is we have to find the median of each five element group say this uh, group by uh, say insertion sort by say this insertion sort right we have to find out uh, the median of this by insertion sort and this you see this uh, five elements group only five elements so constant number of elements so constant number of elements and we are running this insertion sort on, on this constant number then it will be running in order of one time mind you so insertion sort will be running in say order of n square time whenever n is large okay so that is that point we have to take into account if i am a, uh, if i am employing this uh, this if i am applying this quick sort on this then also it will be running in this order of one time 
So because the, these are constant number of elements, five elements, right? And the question is that again the question might be coming to you that why groups of five? Why not groups of three? Why not groups of seven? Why not groups of nine or eight? Whatever. Okay. Okay. So that may be answered afterwards. Okay. But that is a complicated analysis, right? Anyway, so these groups of three we will be having in the exercise. But if I am having any group, group of say uh, J, J number of elements we have to have in our, in our group, okay? Then what will be happening? Anyway. So you see this, we had these elements 10, say 30, say 1, say 50, then say 80, something like this. Now what we got to do is we have to sort this element by insertion sort. Okay. So it will be coming as 1, then 10, then 30, then 50 then 8. So these elements, so here this element will be 1, this element will be 1, this element, this, this element will be 10, this element will be 30, this element will be 50, and this element will be 8. After this insertion sort, this will be the case. Okay. So we have to divide the list, we have to divide the list into groups of five like this and then on each group we have to run this, uh, we have to find the, we have to run this insertion sort and then we have to find the median of each five element group. So what is the median if I am having say five elements? So one answer is that why I am going for this odd number of elements 3, 5, 7, 9 because we will be having one median. So there will be no ambiguity in that case maybe. Right. So this, this will be the median of this list. Okay. So this, this list could be say 20, say 35, say 40, say 65. Ninety. So you see, so here you see this, uh, this one, and this one is connected by an arrow, connected by an arrow. So this is a greater element, and this is a lesser element, lesser element. As you see from the example, that thirty to ten, I am going with the arrow, and thirty to one, I am going. From the median and here 52 median 30 so arrow will be this side and then uh, maybe here 80 80 to 30 so this is the way here also the same thing so this is 40 to 35 40 to 20 65 to 40 then 90 to 40 so like this way we have to have all these elements and we have to find out the median median element of each group median element so this will be some number this this may be some number so here you see this this may be um, okay some smaller number i can take uh, maybe five maybe here nine i haven't taken so nine maybe i can take then I can take 19, then I can take 100, then I can take 120, something like this. So you see 19 is, 19 is there, 40 is here, 30 is here. So these are the medians we are having. So we have to extract the medians. See if I am having, if I am having, if I am having say 1000 elements. Okay? thousand elements. Can anybody tell how many groups will be having? Thousand elements. How many groups will be having? 
200 yes so this last four elements this is for analysis purpose okay you can uh, you can sort this also you can sort this for if for this so this i am ignoring this because of the analysis purpose and whenever you will be implementing at that time you'll be sorting this also you'll be sorting this also and you will be assuming that you are taking the lower median and then this form maybe this this guy will be selected so if this is a uh, 130 140 150 160 something like this then 140 guy will be there as the median so during the implementation that you have to take into account as well if you are writing any code then this element you take into account as well for the analysis purpose we are showing that even if i am ignoring this but still i am getting the good result okay so this uh, we are having a thousand divided by five we are having 200 such groups so one one group will be providing one median so 200 such medians we will be having right so then what we got to do we have to find out the median of these medians okay we have to recursively select the median x of the n by 5 floor group medians that has to be pivot that you will be having as the pivot so uh, even if means whenever you are implementing if you are wanting that you will be ignoring this then also it will be working okay so don't worry for that if you are trying to include that that also you can do and even if you are not trying to include that in your code that also that trick also will be doing okay. so analysis will be showing that that if you ignore this then we don't have any kind of problem so we have to find out the median right now we have to find out these these are the medians okay and we have to find out the medians of medians so what we got to do here right now we have to extract these 200 elements we have to extract these 200 yellow elements okay so this uh, yellow one we have to extract we have to extract this yellow one 200 such elements are there and then what we got to do we have to find out the medians of again we have to divide these 200 elements into groups of five okay 200 elements into groups of five so 200 elements divide by five how many such elements we are having 40 elements in the next step and then 40 elements again we have to divide it into groups of five okay so 40 elements one two three four five six seven eight so 40 elements means these many elements okay so at 40 elements we have to find out and then we'll be having uh, so one two three four five six seven eight eight group and then uh, we have to again divide it into groups of five and then we can uh, have trivial list and we can find out uh, by insertion sorting we can find out the median of the median of medians of that so that means median of medians we are trying to find out so first of all we have two groups of five and then we have to extract the medians and then those medians will be our elements in the array and then again we have to recursively solve the median of that 200 elements and then those medians we have to extract and then we have to again recursively solve that to find out the ultimate median which we call the median of medians okay. so this median we have to find out so in this case x in this case x will be our 
median and maybe we are taking this lower median okay so x will be the median so here uh, this is the way we have to find out the median of median and this x is the pivot element so this x will be used as the pivot element and around that pivot element we have to so we have to we have to go back okay so okay we we had elements here we had elements here we had elements here all all these elements all these elements we, we had here and all these elements we had here and so on then after finding this x after finding this x what we got to do is we have to compare now i have got the pivot element now each of these each of these each one will have to be compared with that x and we have to find out so this is x if this guy is less than this then this guy will be coming here if this guy is greater than this then this guy will be coming there somewhere so like that way around this x we have to divide this whole list into two parts into two parts this part and this part right and then we have to recursively solve depending on which ith smallest element i am trying to find out right so the the same procedure that i we have to check the we, we have to find out the rank of this x and then that uh, r means how many elements we are having we have to find out and then uh, depending on that uh, so this k k k num k is r minus p plus 1 so that we have to find out and then again depending on this ith smallest element we have to in this list if i have to records then i have to find out the ith smallest element in that list if i have to records here then i minus kth smallest element in that list so that procedure will be remaining the same only thing is changed from the randomized one is that we are we have toiled hard to get this pivot x we have toiled hard to get this pivot x so that the partition will be balanced now in the next class we will be seeing that okay if i am finding if i am finding the pivot by following the method of groups of five and then extracting the median and then finding the median of median then we will be having a good partition then we will be having a good partition which will be resulting which will be resulting order of n time algorithm okay so that analysis we will see in the next class now if you have any question you can ask me